For our next project, we're going to use our buttons to create an animation. I'm going to start by going to projects and I'm going to grab a new project. So I start with a blank project page. Once I get to my blank project page, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the on start and forever code that's automatically added up here at the top. So I'm just going to drag these over to my code menu. And when I let go, they'll be deleted. In order to program my buttons, I'm going to need the input code. On my input menu, I'm going to get on button A pressed, and I'm going to drag it over to my code area. So, drag it over. Now I need to tell it what I want it to do when I press the A button. I'm going to go to basic and I'm going to get show LEDs and I'm going to snap it in underneath on button A pressed. For this example, I'm going to make a smiley face. So I'm going to click to select the LEDs that I want to light up when I press the A button. Once I've finished creating my LEDs, I can test it out over on my simulator by clicking on the A button. That should cause my smiley face to light up. Now this only tells it what to do for button A. We're going to make it do something different for button B. So I'm going to go back to input. I'm going to get another on button A pressed. And I'm going to use my drop down menu to choose button B. I'm going to go back to basic get show LEDs one more time. And I'm going to make my second image. For this one, I'm going to make a frowny face. You can choose whatever images you would like for your code. As before, once I have finished choosing the LEDs to light up, I can test it on my simulator by clicking the B button. In this case, B gives me the frowny face, and A should give me the smiley face. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a secret code. I'm going to go back to input. I'm going to get on button A pressed one last time. And if I pull this down, I also have the option for buttons A and B. So this will tell it to do something only if I press both buttons at the same time. I'm going to go back to basic and I'm going to get my show LEDs and I can make it any type of image I want. In this case, I'm just going to make a simple line going across and I'm going to go back to basic again. I'll get another one snap it underneath. I'm going to make my line going the other way because I want this to be a simple animation. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to get one last show LED code. I'm going to snap it in here at the bottom. And then this one I'm going to make into an X. Now again, you can create any design or animation you want for your code, but at the end of it, you should have one picture for A button, one picture for B button, and then some type of animation using at least two show LED codes for button A and B. You can use as many as you want, but at least two. So now when I press A, I'll get my smiley, B, I'll get my frowny. And because we can't click both of these at the same time on the simulator, I now have an A and B button down here. When I click on this, there's my animation. On the physical micro bit, you won't have that A and B button. You'll need to press both A and B at the same time. Before we send it to the micro bit, we're going to name it 
and we're going to call this buttons. And then I'm going to go up to share, publish. After I publish, I am going to get my link to my code. I'm going to click the copy button to copy it. Go to Google Classroom, open the assignment. Once you've opened the assignment, click add, choose link, paste the code in by click it, hold, holding down control V on your keyboard, and then don't forget to turn it in. Once you've turned it into classroom, we can then transfer it over to the micro bit and test it on the physical micro bit. Remember to click the download button, and once the file is downloaded, you can transfer it over to your microbit.